Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is uh, a career pick a card. Let's see what's going on with our jobs, with our careers, with our finances. Okay, before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through the nose and out through the mouth. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right. So today we have pile one with black tourmaline, pile two with rose quartz, pile three with blue appetite, and pile four with ruby and zoezite. So take a moment, pick the pile that you're drawn to. Um, if you have to, pause the video, go ahead and do that. And I'm going to get started with pile one. Hi, Pile One. If you chose the Black Tourmaline, then this is going to be your reading. I'm going to pull you some angel numbers. Let's see what we got. We have six, two, eight, eight. Six, two, eight, eight are your angel numbers. I will post the meaning in the comments. So I'm going to put you on pause so I can write it down. I'll be right back. Okay, pile one, let's grab your cards. Let's see what we got. We got the Hierophant. Oh, hello, ghost. Ghosts came to say hello. We got strength. Six of swords. Queen of wands. Eight of cups. Ghost probably wants to go out, but he can wait. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. The Hierophant. Oh, so this is saying that you um, are probably probably about to enter a new phase in your career. Maybe you'll be working with new people and one of them could possibly become a mentor of sorts for you. The Strength card says that now's the time to make the move to further your career. You know, either ask for the promotion or if you've been considering a vet business venture, venture, you know, take the risk, take the leap. Um, if you're looking for a job, you're definitely going to find success. The Six of Swords says that um, a change is coming. It's definitely coming and it's for your highest good. So that could mean that it's, uh, you know, might be a little challenging. Um the Queen of Wands says that you're gearing up, yeah, for a crucial period, you know. Um, but it's going to make you really, really satisfied. You're making your dreams come true. That's what the Queen of Wands does. So, you know, you might have to juggle a bunch of tasks, but, you know, make sure nobody's underestimating your abilities because you are magical. Eight of Cups says... Be prepared for challenges. You know, you might have to branch out into something new. You know, there's something you might have to walk away from. Um, you know, not necessarily the entire job, but like aspects of it, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, it could be a challenging time, but I really feel like whatever's coming for you is going to be pretty amazing. So let's uh, keep going. The Wheel, Seven of Cups, The Magician, and the Hierophant again. Oh, you must be, somebody's going to be working with you and guiding you. And, and um, you know, like I said, being a mentor of sorts, I really feel like you're going to have some kind of a really strong support system, which is beautiful. Um, the Wheel, the Wheel says that... Uh, you know, this is a good omen for change. So start that passion project, you know, apply for that dream job. You know, a promotion could be coming. I don't know. This is like, this is good. This is really good. Seven of Cups says that you have many opportunities. You know, just make sure you're not biting off more than you can chew, you know. Don't set unrealistic expectations, but um, wow, this is good. The magician says, you know, you're 
life will be made a little easier for you, you know, in the near future. You know, if you're looking for a job, you'll get a bunch of offers. Um, you know, it's saying that you could start fresh with new energy and new confidence. And, you know, you might be, res- you know, being um, given new responsibilities in your career. I don't know. This is just like starting to manifest what you really want, what you want your career to look like, what what job you really want to hold. Um, this is about you know creating your happiness in far as far as career and finance goes. So this is looking really good for you guys, pile one. All right, let's pull some more. A blessed change. Okay, a major life change brings you great blessings. So I did kind of feel like something is changing, right? I, I've said that with these cards up here. Um, so there is a change coming. It doesn't mean that you're losing your job and you have to get a new one. It could, though. It could because the job you're probably in isn't the right one for you. Um, but I just feel like there's like um, something more, something more that's going to that's coming in that's leading to you know like leading you down the path like climbing the ladder so to speak like even if it's a um a new job um or a career change there's or a change like in departments or something like I don't I really don't feel like people are losing their jobs so like I don't feel like you're getting fired um I just feel like there's going to be a a change in direction somewhat um, new responsibilities or different responsibilities, something like that. Um, but it's it's going to be for your benefit. Like it's towards, it's more of what you want to do. Um, so the change is good. It just might be a little, t- you know, a little tough in the beginning. Um, but I feel like once you settle into this, whatever this is, um, it's going to be really great for you. Yeah, trust in the unknown. Trust that something better is coming. Trust your intuition. You're worried about this. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. And if you have to make a choice, you know, just go dig deep, you know. Meditate on it. Pray on it. Whatever you do, just quiet your mind a little bit and listen to what your gut is telling you. Your gut's not going to steal your steer you wrong. Your intuition is always right. So just listen to what you really want and follow your bliss, right? Go towards what's going to make you the happiest or go towards what's going to get you um, towards your goal. You know, make those steps, even if it might not make you the happiest right now. But if you know it's a step in the right direction, that's the one that you should take. Okay, you have time out. Awareness, contemplation, solitude, and time alone. Okay, so this is what they want you to do. They want you to figure out what it is you truly want. It does kind of feel like you need to make a decision and you're not sure about it. Um, Even though we didn't get any, you know, make a choice or decision cards up here, it feels like they, you know, there's going to be options. Okay. Seven, you do. Well, yeah, you got seven of cups. So I feel like there's going to be options and they want you to just, um, you know, figure out what's going to be for your highest good. So take the time out if you need to, like, if somebody offers you a promotion and you're not sure if that's what you want to do, you know, ask them for a few days. Take that time out. Don't make a rash decision. Take some time to think about it. Okay? They're saying it's okay for you to do that. Sometimes we have to make a, an immediate decision. But this time I feel like you're going to have an option to, you know, take your time. You are good enough. So don't ever doubt yourself. You are worthy of this. You are worthy of good things. Good things are coming for you. So do not doubt yourself or your abilities. You can do this. You can handle this. You got the strength card. You're strong. You have courage, okay? Children, your love life, well, this isn't a love reading. So children um, in a career means that maybe you're going to be working with one of your um, kids, you know? Maybe they're going to help you in this career. Maybe they're going to find this career path for you. Or or maybe you're 
making a decision because it affects your kids. You know what I mean? In a good way, not in a bad way. So um, just keep that in mind. I, I'm really feeling strongly, though, that some of you might be working with your a child. Like maybe there's a side business or something that you're going to be starting that's going to be with a child of yours. And it's going to be very successful. So that is... Um, that's kind of exciting, you know, getting getting to work with your kids, building a legacy for them and for them to carry on. And, you know, who knows? Maybe it could go for generations. All right, let's see. Your Akashic Record card is, oh, the Queen of Forces. Okay. Um, that is all about coming into a phase of great power so um you know this time it it's going to be bringing new roles new opportunities to you so this is a beautiful period for you like something amazing is coming in i felt it i felt it with that top row like i felt like something really great is coming in for you pile one and um you like i said it might be a little challenging for you at first but you know, once you settle in, it's going to be a, a beautiful thing and it's going to bring in a bunch of abundance. So good for you. All right, let me pull a few charms. And let's see. Oh, there's love here. So you're going to love what you do. Look, you might be working with a soulmate. Our children are soulmates of ours, right? Soulmates do not have to be romantic. So you're going to be working with somebody that you have um, strong soul connections to. That's always good. This is cut ties with what no longer serves you. So if you do have to leave a, a current job to get this dream job or whatever, um, don't be afraid to cut the ties. Don't burn bridges, but cut the ties. You know, take the leap and, and, and uh, take the steps forward. Look, you got a star. You're going to this you're going to shine so brightly in this new role. It's it's really powerful and amazing. Look, you're the fox. You're sly, you're cunning. You're going to be making the right moves for you. You will find peace and happiness and joy in this new new career or new, you know, promotion or whatever it is. This change, whatever this change is, you're it's going to Oh, be amazing for you. You might be at a crossroads, right? You might have to make a decision which way to go, but I feel like you're going to make that decision very easily. I don't feel like it's going to be hard for you. You have the ladybug. Luck is on your side. You know, the wheel, right? The, the wheel of fortune's right there. Luck is coming in for you. It's good fortune. is It's on its way. And you have the schoolhouse, so you might be learning something. This might be, a, you know, a little challenging because it's something that is out of your wheelhouse. But have the confidence. You're good enough for this, okay? So, Pile One, that is all I have for you. I am um, I'm happy and excited for you. This is a really good reading. But anyway, um, do me a favor. Give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that really does help me so much and I would be so grateful for you to do that. I would love to have you here, part of this community. Um, I love all my subscribers so very much. Thank you. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the Rose Quartz, then this is your reading. I'm going to grab you some angel numbers. We have seven. Three, seven, zero. Look at that. Seven, three, seven, zero. I'm going to put you on pause so I can write that down. Okay, pile two. Let's grab your cards. We have eight of wands, nine of pentacles, the empress, eight of swords, and the wheel. All right. Um... Eight of Wands. Work life is going to start moving fast. You know, maybe a new venture is going to take off sooner than you expect. 
um, or just business is going to pick up, but you're going to, you're going to be hustling soon. So be prepared. Nine of pentacles says your career's about to reach new heights. You're going to reap the rewards of any sacrifices that you might've made. Um, you know, for those of you who are at retirement age, it could, that could be coming in soon. Um, but I really don't think so. Not with the rest of these cards. I don't think that, that, that that's an option. I feel like just the abundance is going to be coming in. Like you're going to be uh, able to pick the fruit, you know. The Empress is here. You may, you could be working from home or remotely. Um, you could be take, stepping into a leadership role. Um you know, if you're having some difficulties now in your job or your career, just go with the flow. Th things will definitely get better soon. Um, yeah, Eight of Swords. Okay, Eight of Swords is... You're feeling like the situation might be too good to be true. Because, like, I really feel like business is going to start, like, exploding. Like, you're going to... Like the money's really going to start coming in. You're going to be really, really busy. You're going to be working hard. But I feel like you might feel like, like you might be getting in your head and sabotaging yourself, you know, because you're like, is this really happening? This is going too fast. We need to slow it down. No, you don't. Just make sure you're being kind to yourself and allow this to happen. It's happening for a reason. The eight of wands is a very fast moving energy. So allow it, allow this abundance to come in, okay? The wheel's here. So that means that, you know, luck is on your side. Good fortune is coming. So, you know, just keep your head in the game, okay? All right, let's uh, grab a few more clarifying cards and see, uh, see what else we get. Judgment. Oh, seven of Swords. Oh, I hate that energy. <laughs> I don't think it's too bad in a career. I just, uh, I mean, not in this career read. But look, you got Eight of Swords again, but you got the Sun. So, all right, look. All right, look. Judgment with that Seven of Swords. Ugh. I think somebody's keeping an eye on you and they're noticing that you're doing well for yourself. And that Seven of Swords energy might be someone like trying to work against you a little bit, might be jealous of what you're achieving, um, you know, might be planning on, I don't know, sabotaging you somehow. Just be vigilant. I really don't, I think this is like a net. You could swat it away. I don't, I'm not feeling really strong energy from it. But um, you're getting, the good thing is you're getting noticed. So that means you're taking off. You know, that's fantastic. But again, you feel like it might be happening too fast. You're, you're in your head about it. This is a fear of your own making. So no, 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 no. Don't do that. Everything's working out. You're going to get your sun. Look at this. The sun is everything paying off. This is success. This is happiness. So um, don't sabotage yourself, right? Don't do it. Even if this, like, don't let this guy or this per girl, whoever it is, this energy, don't let them get into your head, okay? Don't let them second guess yourself. You know what you're doing is right for you and uh stay strong and make your dreams come true you're the empress you're the nine of pentacles money's coming in for you this business venture career job whatever it is is going to be very successful for you so keep the faith keep going and uh get out of your head because <laughs> it's it's your own thoughts it's your own anxieties Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire, right? This is not too good to be true. This is meant for you. This is what you've been working towards. Don't procrastinate and don't self-doubt. 
dropping cards. I caught it though. Shield Maiden. Make plans and focus. Okay, like I said, don't let anybody get in your head. Continue to make your plans. Stay focused. You know, you're going to achieve your goals. So just, you know, get out of that head. Get out of those anxieties. Stay focused on your on the end game. <laughs> All right, well, that card sexuality um obviously is not meant for a career read but in this i just feel like what they're saying with this card is like follow your passion whatever you're passionate passionate about like you're getting the sun you're going to be so happy so you know what whatever lights your fire that's what you need to go towards and that's what you need to focus on whatever gives you that passion inside um yeah. All right, let's see what else we get. Again, Aphrodite, return of Aphrodite. Again, it seems the same thing. You're a beautiful soul. You are, people are starting to notice you and recognize you for your work. And um, keep it up. Keep up the good work. You're getting noticed. And again, it's about, you know, being... Um, a beautiful soul, being kind to people, being good at what you do, loving what you do, um, ha being happy to whether you're in, I feel like a career where you might help people or teach people or um, people are loving that and, and they're loving you and you should love what you do. Don't let your past hold you back. So if you've had failures in the past um, in the same career or in different careers, like say this is you starting your own business and you did it before and it didn't work out, don't let that hold you back. Follow your passion, okay? It's going to work out for you this time. The sun's here. The wheel of fortune's here. It's definitely, definitely time to start making this happen for you, this dream come true. All right, I'm going to pull you a love card, but let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay, past life relationship. So you're going to be working with someone who who's a soulmate, somebody you've um, dealt with in, the, in past lives. So again, that's a deep spiritual connection, right? This is a soul tie, someone you have a soul tie to, which leads me to believe that whatever this business venture is or this job is going to be so successful. Because you're already, you already worked with this person before. You already know um, on a deep soul level each other's abilities and stuff. So trust, trust, have faith, get out of your head. Things are um, about to explode. <laughs> They're about to like take off. That eight of wands is really fast. So get ready. Ready, set, go. All right, your Akashic Record card is the Five of Scrolls. It says diversity. So I feel like it's time to diversify. Like there may be many options for you to consider and you should take a look at them all. Allow yourself to try new things. Um, you know, break out in different directions. Meet new people. Don't worry about scattering your energy. I know what you have the focus card, but... Um, I, I feel like, you know, you focus on growing this business or I, it does, it feels like you're growing a business. Um, you're in a period of expansion right now, whatever that is. So use it, you know, let yourself go further than you planned. Don't be afraid. Don't hold yourself back. Now's the time to shine, right? You got the light. Now's the time to shine and be bright and be that star and and uh, just go for it. It's it's a really good time for you. Really good energy for you, Pile Two. Let's pull you some charms. Oh, I pulled a lot here. Okay, look, you got joy. You're gonna find your joy, your happiness, your bliss. Right? You might have gone through some kind of a transformation and you're starting to realize that um, you need to be confident in yourself. Right? 
oh, look, there is a toxic person in your life. Ugh. Maybe not in your life, but in your energy. Just watch out for that, okay? Don't let anybody put you in this energy, okay? Whoever this is, if they're in your ear saying, oh, you can't do that, you can't do that, cut them loose. Or if you can't cut them loose, if they're a family member or whatever, silence them. Like, silence the, the gnat, squash it. You know, like, just don't listen. Because this is a beautiful reading. You're getting what you want, so... Squash the, that negative. Let it go. Okay, you have the horse, which, you know, in this reading is like you're galloping forward. Again, fast-moving energy, right? Like things are about to take off. Um, your angels are watching you. That's my, it says angelic. So you are angelic. Angels are watching over you. There's more angel charms here. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Look, you got, you've got the guitar and the musical note. So this could be a career in music. You know, maybe you're about to become a rock star. <laughs> oh, how fun would that would be? Like, that's a dream come true. Like, I can't sing for anything. But like, if I had a dream, I would dream that I could make music, um, money with my voice that would be great but I can't sing at all you know that that you know not necessarily at fame but like when the crowd starts singing your songs with you and, and sometimes they become louder than you that's got to be a magical feeling you know what I mean so um anyway enough about me <laughs> so if if this isn't a career in music um it could be just like music's very important to you. Or maybe you like to listen to music when you work. Um, this is saying go ahead and do that. If that inspires you, if that gets you moving faster, <laughs> because we do have fast moving energy here, um, then 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 do that, you know? Let let music lift your spirits. Let them put it let the music put you in the mood. Um, you have the dolphin here. And it's funny because you have the Af Aphrodite card, which has dolphins on it. So some, look, some of you, I would, um, I would look up dolphin, dolphin spirit animal. There might be a message in that for you. Off the top of my head, I, I can't remember what the dolphin signifies, but I do know that dolphins are, um, besides humans, they meet, they meet for pleasure, not just for reproduction. So I don't know. Maybe maybe you're going to be working with a, a romantic partner. Um, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. All right, Pile 2. That is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. This is beautiful. Good for you. I can't wait. Um, you know, comment what this is if you can because I'd be curious to know. Um, what you guys are going to be doing to make this uh, sun happen for you. A lot of success here. A lot of success. Give the video a thumbs up for me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because you know that helps me. Makes me so very grateful. Thank you for that. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you choose the raw appetite, then this is going to be your reading. I'm going to pull you some angel numbers. Let's see what we get here. Oh, seven, one, zero, three. Seven, one, zero, three is your number. I'm going to put you on pause so I can write that down. Okay, pile three, let's get your cards. We have page of wands, nine of pentacles, justice, the lovers, Two of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. So the page comes in and says that, you know, this is a good time to start a new job or branch out into your own business or start something new. You know, the page always brings news of something new. Somebody who wants to do everything. Um, you know, who has a lot of ideas. So I feel like you're very creative right now. Um, so they're giving you the go ahead to start it. The nine of pentacles says that, um, 
you're about to reach new heights. You're about to re- reap the rewards. You know, pick the fruit that you planted. So uh, money's coming in. Justice is saying that, oh, you need you may better balance, work-life balance. You might be a little off. You might be spending too much time at work or on, at the office. Um, you know, make sure you remember that work isn't the most important thing in life, you know. Bring balance back into your life. The lover says that there's going to be an important, very, a very important decision that you're going to have to make. Don't follow, don't make it lately. Follow your heart, follow your passion. It's going to lead to happiness. And again, two of pentacles, um, you know, could be, you know, this is about juggling. This is about being out of balance. So, um, you know, I think you need to bring balance back to your life here. And also, um, you know, there's a major decision here. You might have to take a risky move. You might have to, you know, decide to, I don't know. I'm feeling like there's a decision, a major decision here with the lovers and the two of pentacles. I just feel like it's going to work out into your favor, though. I don't feel like you have to worry about it. You got the Nine of Pentacles. Money's coming in. You know, the page is saying you have lots and lots of ideas. So, uh, on how to make money. All right. That's good. Let's get some more cards. That is not the deck I wanted to shuffle. (laughs) <laughs> so give me a second here. There we go. Sorry about that. I picked up the wrong deck and didn't even look at it. All right, so I have eight of wands. Uh, the tower. I have two cards here. No. Okay. Strength, and let's get um, let's get one more for you here. Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's going to be a bunch of different opportunities coming in, and this energy is fast moving. So um, things are going to start picking up. Things are going to start moving fast. Um, Either a new venture is going to take off sooner than you thought, or business is going to start coming in. You know, you're going to get lots of orders, or there's the works picking up, okay? Um, but the tower's here, and this is a stressful change about to take place. So, uh, yeah, there's a decision you have to make, and it's going to cause you some stress. I don't know. You're juggling a lot. So are you juggling two careers or, or do you have two jobs? Do you, you're going to have to let go of one, it looks like. And it's going to cause you some anxiety. But the strength card is here saying, you know, now's the time to make that move. You know, everything's going to work out for you. You're going to find success and you have the courage to make the move that you need to make or the decision that you have to make. You're going to be okay. You have options here. You have the page of wands and you have the seven of cups. So there's a lot of things that you're thinking about and um, a lot of options, a lot of different directions you can go in. Pick one. Pick one and start making it successful because it will be successful. All right. Let's, uh, let's get a few more cards here. Morning affirmations. Oh, that's all about saying positive, right? Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Yeah. You're worried. You, you're you worried. Stop. You're out of balance. Um, you need to get back into alignment. Start being positive. Um, let the negative go. You have a, you, success is coming in. Nine of Pentacles is you making your own money. You picking the fruits of your labor, you know? So um, stay positive. Stay positive every morning. It's, you know, wake up in the morning and just say, 
Today's going to be a good day. Today I'm going to be making lots of money. Or today I'm going to have a brand new idea that's going to bring me lots of money. Something. I don't care what it is. Just say something positive every morning when you wake up because that's what they're telling you to do. (laughs) And that means it'll work if you do it. Uh, connect with your emotions. Yeah, you are just, you're worry wart. Stop worrying. <sighs> Let it go. Let the worry go. I know it's hard, especially if you're worried about, you know, surviving by making money. I, I get it, but you've got to stop worrying. You're putting up resistance and you don't want, you want the energy to flow. You don't want to put that resistance up to it. Awaken your true self. So for me, that's saying, go, go for what makes you happy. Whatever decision you have to make, what decision will make you the highest, um, will make you the happiest? Follow your passion, follow your bliss. This is all about doing what you truly love to do. The money will come in. Don't worry. It's coming. All right, let's get a... endurance keep going exactly keep going it's it's working out things are happening behind the scenes just keep enduring keep going it's don't give up now right before miracles are about to happen don't do that (laughs) keep going a fiery climax approaches that means there's a decision that has to be made and there's an ending or a, a resolution there's some kind of a fiery climax Hopefully, it's not you getting a fight with somebody and burning bridges, but something's about to come to an end. And it's going to be for your highest good, so don't worry about it. Calling in your soulmate. All right, so either your soulmate, you're calling your soulmate in to help support you and love you while, you, while you're going through this disruption, whatever this is, um, or you're going to be working with your soulmate. Either way. Um, it's a good thing. Lean on them. They're going to help you get through this, whatever this is. Good things are coming for you, Pile 3. It might be uh, a little difficult, but good things are coming. Let's uh, get your Akashic Record card. And you've got the Muse. huh? Okay, so that just means it's a very creative time. You know, you you're. it's a time of heightened resourcefulness you know any creative projects that you might have are, are going to work out so you know the page of wands is all about having lots of ideas right so it this card is saying that you're going to have creative solutions or i don't know this is just a good omen it really is all right let's get pull you some charms You got the chakra stone, of course, because you're out of balance right now. You are too focused on money, on on something working out, or something not working out, something falling apart. You're too you're too worried about it. Get back into balance. Just know everything's going to be okay. Believe in that. Have faith. And when you do, you're going to stop putting resistance, and you're going to allow the money to flow to you. Okay. Step into your power, okay? Be be the leader that you are. Make this happen for you. You are going through some kind of a transformation, and that is why you're feeling the growing pains or, you know, or something's about to leave your life career-wise, and, and it's for your highest good. It's a transformation. It's a change. Your angel, angels are here loving you, supporting you, and guiding you. You will have the good life. Just being you is enough. Go for what makes you happy. Find your joy. Okay? Go take the steps towards whatever's going to make you happy in your career. Okay? That's the direction you need to go in. All right, Pile 3, that's all I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Give the video a thumbs up for me because that helps me. 
it also helps me so much to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, please do that. I will thank you so much for that. Thank you. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the Ruby and Zozite, then this is going to be your reading. This is such a beautiful stone, and this camera does not do it justice. I love this stone. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to grab you some angel numbers. Let's see what we got here. We have oh, zero, so that doesn't count. Five, six, three. 563 is your number. I'm going to write it down and I'll be right back. Okay, pile four, let's grab your num um, your cards. <laughs> you have the magician, six of wands, the hermit, page of swords, ten of wands. Hmm. All right. The magician is saying that you're now you're trying to manifest your dreams. You're trying to make that money. Um, but you're working hard. And um, I feel like you need to manifest more and, and like attract more instead of work smarter, not harder. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But I do feel like your, your workload is going to get easier. I just feel like it's a lot right now. Yeah, I feel like you're working really hard. Um, six of wands is a, a success card. So this could be a promotion, um, you know, stepping, stepping into a leadership role or, or some kind of recognition and reward for, for doing good, you know, like a raise or a bonus or, I don't know, this is just a success. So it could be anything really. Um, but the hermit mood says you're looking for answers because like, I don't know. I just feel like you're you're working really hard. I think you might be taking on too much and you're like, "Do I want to keep doing this? Like, can I keep doing this?" Page of Swords is saying you you have a path carefully plan, planned, planned. <laughs> you have a path carefully planned, but executing your plan um, might require some endurance, you know, and strength, and it might not be easy. And it might be slow going, but it's going to be rewarding. So I feel like you're still questioning that. Like, do I want to keep going? Do I want to change change it up? Like, what what do I do? You're looking for answers. Um, I feel like this job with this Ten of Wands, like it probably started out with genuine enthusiasm, but it turned into exhaustion and maybe even a little bit of resentment. Maybe you took on more responsibilities than you could chew, you know, like... You need to cut back on your workload a little bit, um, but I feel like, I still feel like you're going in the right direction. I don't know. Let's get some more cards. Moving on. <laughs> okay. Maybe I was wrong. No. I just feel like that's um, you moving you know, out of choppy waters into smooth. I think things are getting easier. It's going to be more smooth sailing for you. Two of Wands. Ugh. The Hanged Man. And uh, Nine of Wands. All right. So I think something's about to change, but it's going to be for the better. Um Maybe an unexpected surprise will catch you off guard. I don't know. The two of wands, is, that's a travel card. So that you could be working in a new city. Or maybe getting a promotion, moving up the ladder. I don't know. But I, I really feel like things are looking good. You might be working too hard right now, but I feel like things are going to get easier. I really, truly do. Um, but I feel like you're kind of conflicted still. I feel like you feel like maybe you're stuck in a rut or... I don't know. I feel like you're waiting for something. You're, you're just waiting for something. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're waiting for the windfall. 
You're worried. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I keep getting like, you're worried that you can't continue to do what you're doing. Like, so maybe you're, um, you know, doing something that's manual labor and, um, you know, it's taking a toll on, on your body. Maybe you're coming home hurting every night and you're wondering, you know, how long, how long is it that I can continue to do this? Um, I don't know, but I do feel like it's going to get better soon. I feel like it's getting better soon. I feel like it's just a matter of time here. So don't give up, okay? Just hang in there. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Oh, so something's coming in. You're on the verge of something. Like something big's about to happen for you. So, yeah. Okay, that's good. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Transform and unveil your gifts. Oh, maybe somebody is taking notice of a certain gift that you have. Or they didn't know something that you could do. And there's going to be a new opportunity opening up for that. Huh. That's interesting. All right. So a change is coming. That's what I feel like. A change is definitely coming. And it's going to be for your highest good. Stand your ground. Normally I would say like there might be competition, but I don't feel that from this card. What I'm feeling is like you just got to keep going. This is an endurance card. I feel like just keep going. You're you're almost there. You know, don't quit right before the miracle. It's coming. Oh, that's not the card I want anyway. <laughs> I like these cards. Card down. That's what that was. All right, here we go. The unseen. Too much is hidden from you. All right, so you're not seeing something, something, there's something opening up for you. There's a new path, a new promotion or job, a new direction. There's something coming in for you. You don't see it yet. Have faith. Stay optimistic. It's coming. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, so if somebody says something to you like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. I, you know, I you know, I, I have this business and, and, uh, you might fit in with that. Um, but it's just like casual conver conversation, not really a solid offer. This is saying, be, bo be bold, make that first move. Like maybe the next day or the next couple of days, reach out to that person and just say, Hey, you know, I was really thinking about what we talked about. And I think this is something I might be interested in. You know, how about giving me a chance? Be bold. Take that step. If you're, if you have any slight intuition in that, in that direction, um, follow it, you know, follow your interact, your intuition now, like take that step. If you want to change and a change is offered to you or even a idea of a change, be bold, reach out to that person or company or, or a friend who might know somebody who might know somebody. You know, don't be afraid to make that move or to take that step. It's safe for you to love. So in a career reading for me, that means it's safe for you to go after what you love doing. So if there's something that you love, that you know that you would love doing it and you'd be really good at it, but it might not make that much money, um, it's saying that you're going to be okay. So go after what you love. Take the steps towards that. You're going to be fine. That's really good. All right, let's get an Acacia record card to end this. And let's see what I pull for you is the Acacia or Acacia, however you want to say it, library. Interesting. That's about like being the magician, I think, creating, manifesting a new life. Um, Yeah, I feel like you're going through some kind of a transformation here, some kind of a shift. Feels like you're like moving deeper into the Akashic Records to a higher self-awareness. 
Further investigation may be required, but I feel like you have a better understanding of maybe your old motives and now your new purposes. You know, you may may understand why you did the things you did in the past work-wise, but now you are starting to understand that you need to have a new purpose. And I feel like your intuition is very heightened right now. I feel like all you have to do right now is add a little conscious effort to rewrite your records. You're not stuck. We create our own reality. So, you know, um, what is the future you want to create? Say it out loud or write it down and then repeat it to yourself. And then decide one thing that you can do to make it happen. And then do it. Like, be bold. Make the first move, right? Anything can happen right now. I feel like this is a time that you could just create the changes you want to change. You know, if you are doing manual labor right now, and it is backbreaking work, if you, I feel like there's an idea in your head of something else that you could do. I feel like you need to take the steps to, towards that. And that's just an example. I'm not feeling that for everyone. Not everyone does manual labor, but it's a really good example on this. Like you don't have to do that forever. You, you, we have the ability to change our lives. We don't have to be stuck. And I do feel like there's a major change happening for you. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry. That was my daughter. She's so funny. She's like, look up the lyrics to this song and tell me what it means to you. Because I told her <laughs> that she might be getting a message in, in a song. So she has to interrupt my video <laughs> for me to do that for her. Kids, I tell you. All right, I'm pulling you some charms. That's what all that noise is. Sorry. All right, so look, you got the crown. Step into your power, right? Um... Like I said, you have the ability, you're the magician. You can make things happen right now. Now's a very good time to make a change if you need a change or I don't know, but luck is on your side. Look, you got the good fortune here. You have your angels loving you, watching out for you, guiding you, giving you that inspiration. You're going to be moving in the right direction. You're, you're definitely on the right path. You will be living the good life, okay? So that means that you're going to be successful. So it, even if it is that whatever this change is that's coming for you, it's going to be good for you, okay? Um, that's all I have for you, Pile 4. I hope it was helpful. I hope it, it really was what you needed to hear. Do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that does help me a lot and makes me so very grateful. Thank you. And until next time, love and light.